we need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live. This is Lewis Hart, a boxing social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forged Irish Stout, and ready to fight. Delighted to be joined with Dave Cole. Well, he's, he's squeezed in a few minutes because there has been some breaking news this evening. Tyson Fury versus Alexander Ustikin off February 17th. Fury sustained the cut in sparring. The footage just came out. Um, Dave, uh, we're absolutely gutted, mate. Can't believe it. Yeah, I was um, just just in the car and it came on TalkSport, breaking news. Um, I was sick, man. I'm absolutely gutted. Um, it's typical. It's boxing, um, sparring, things like this can happen. Uh, I've just actually, I hope he's just sent me the, uh, the, um, the sparring footage. So I've just seen it now, yeah. um, literally a minute ago. And there's, a, there's one where it slows right down. Um. Yeah, it it's nasty, isn't it? It's it's boxing. He gets caught with a with a good uppercut. Um, I, I it's it's boxing, mate. It's one of those things. Yeah. It's frustrating. It's easy for everybody. It's initial, you know, when you talk talk like yeah. Fury does, and you give it a big one, and you're talking about how no man, you know, we're nearing and all that sort of stuff can beat him, and he's he's mocking him and things. Then when when something like this goes wrong, it's easy to like kick him and and say, "Oh, he was never going to fight him." And this, he, boxers get cut in sparring. It's just it's one of those things, you know. He in the footage I've seen, he's got an head guard. Um, they've got bigger gloves on. It's sparring. It's that's that's part of the game. So yeah. it's just unfortunate. It's one of those things. I suppose footballers can pull an hamstring in training. You know, just before just before a big game at the weekend, boxers can can get cut in sparring. And I suppose with this news that came out, um, we did see Johnny Nelson make comments uh, on with Spencer Oliver uh, talking about how sort of him getting manhandled in camp in camp. Um, yeah. Do you feel like it's sort of a, a bit of a coincidence? Obviously, this happens, and people are going to come up with their conspiracy with those with those words coming out as well. So let's let's just listen. Rumors of sparring don't mean shit, really, because you don't know whether the 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 leaked on purpose to make make it sound like you've had a bad camp, and so the opposition takes you lightly. You don't know if they're true, and you know you just you just no way of knowing factually unless you're there and you're watching sparring and what's going off in camp. That's just, there's no way of actually knowing. Um, so let's just say if Johnny's right and he's had a rough camp and he's been getting manhandled, well, that little five-second clip or whatever it is, three-second clip that we've just seen on on that's circulating now, um, that's uh, that can lend to the fact that maybe that that's been happening and it's you know it's been a rough spar and yeah. the guy that they've got in there is is quite physical and he looked you know uh, it was a good shot he lands. But this is boxing. It's you know you could have a you can you can be in total control of sparring, and just that split second, one or two seconds, you can be in a position where you're just getting manhandled a little bit, and then oh, people can say oh yeah, he's getting manhandled all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean it. Do you know what I mean? So it's difficult well, to say. What do you think should happen now? I suppose speaking on the second of February at seven o'clock, um, there is no no we don't sure what's going on yet. Um, do you feel like Hergovic could be they're talking about Hergovic potentially getting drafted in and fighting who's sick do you think that could be an option so I'm hearing that's what I'm hearing is, is that they're looking at because uh, he's a mandatory isn't he for the idea yeah, he, he is, kind yeah, of gets yeah. that out of the way straight away which um, I understand from there's a there's a two fight clause in this um, mm-hmm. uh, in this undisputed fight uh, sorry rematch clause in this so it's a two fight deal but it was never going to be where they could keep hold of the IBF because the IBF yeah. would probably struggle, um, exactly. probably um, strip him, and then we was talking about uh, AJ fighting Hergovic for the vacant. Well, if Usyk wants to roll the dice on a on an opportunity to un- to be undisputed against Fury, you know the figures that I'm hearing that they're getting paid for yeah. this is 
unbelievable. Absolutely yeah. incredible. So if he wants to roll the dice and get the mandatory out of the way, that's that's unbelievable. That's great. Go for it. And if he comes through Egovich, then that kind of like, at least with the IBF, frees that up so they can get the two fights with Fury out of the way um, or whatever they want to do. Or if it's, you know, if, let's say if he beats Fury and, and they don't do the rematch, then he goes and... Or, or or even Fury beats uh, Usyk and then we can do the AJ fight. It gets rid of that IBF and maybe the other sanctioning bodies are a little bit more easy to deal with to say, let's get this fight done and then the mandatories will take care of after. You never know, but it solves the IBF problem if he does do that. But yeah. in Hergovic, you are facing a guy that can punch. Yeah, and we know in boxing, and he's a big, he's a big old lump as well, and we know in boxing that, you know, one punch can completely mess up everybody's plans of what comes next. Um, but if Usyk's feeling good and everything's flowing in camp and he feels sharp, he feels great, then he's going to look at Ergovic and think he he has a obviously he has a danger, so that'll keep him sharp and not have him being switched off and lazy. It's not like you know if if he's if he wasn't a puncher, then you could go in there thinking. This is an easy night. But yes. when you're in against a puncher, you are smart and you are sharp. You are you have got that red alert sort of danger warning lights going off. So if Usyk's sharp and, and ready to go, then I can understand why he wants to get that out of the way. And it's a, it's a good fight. And I suppose just a last one from me. Um, with this postponement, do you think it suits AJ in a way? In a hypothetical situation, he would knock out Francis Ngannou and then he has that shot undisputed and, you know, he's... The pressure is on the fight. I suppose the pre the pressure is off AJ when he hasn't got a the, the whole fight week won't be you know you're going to fight the winner of or whoever say whoever won on 17th the whole fight week would have been okay you're facing this guy. Does you think it could suit AJ in a way where he's uh, the pressure's all on the other fighters with AJ waiting in the wings if that makes sense? I think AJ has learned, or I would, I would hope to think that AJ has learned not to look beyond the fight that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't yeah. think it'll make it. Uh, you know, as I don't think that will have been an issue because he knows the the dangers that Ngannou uh, possesses, so he knows to focus on that. And and regardless of what's happening, you know, um, uh, after that, he's got to focus on that. So I don't know because the, you could still turn it around and say there's the, it's the same. If 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 that was a pressure thing where Fury and Usyk were fighting. Uh, first and then AJ, you know, so you've got the winner of that, and it's all oh, right, that's the fight. Well, it doesn't really change anything because we're all looking at AJ fighting the winner of them two anyway. That's what we're all hoping for, you know. Yeah, so, I don't know, I don't, I, th I think he's beyond that. I think he's, you know, he, he looked beyond a fight before and got and, and got completely derailed. So, I don't think anyone really, and, and also coming off the back of. Fury perhaps overlooking Ngannou in that fight and you saw how close he was to getting beat. So I think there's enough freshness in 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 AJ's mind not to focus on what's down the road and what comes next and just to focus on the job in hand, really. Absolutely. Dave, thank you for the squeezing in a quick 10 minutes with me. Um, it's a massive, massive story. The big news and we're both absolutely gutted to hear it. It's not really an interview we both wanted to be doing, I'm sure. No, not not all, and, and I mean the the initial reaction is you get off of people saying, "Oh, knew it was going to happen. We're never going to fight him." Listen, the, I get what they're saying, but again, because because when you talk that much, and then but this is boxing; it happens. Yeah. But you've got yeah. to understand the money that he's getting for this yeah. undisputed fight. I'm telling you. There's no way that is 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 scared to fight Usyk. He's not going to fight Usyk. There's no way, you know. You can say, well, if it wasn't a cut, you know, and if you didn't see, if it wasn't a cut, it, you know, a, a back injury or something like that, maybe you can turn around and say, well, maybe camp weren't going great, and they need to extend it a little bit. Yeah. But it's you know, come on, I, it's I, a bad I, cut, yeah. I think I think it's just a bad cut. It's just one of those situations. Intra. Do you know when, when Riyadh season ends? I can't remember when it ends. So, Riyadh season will end. Uh, the last event is AJV and Garu on the 8th of eighth of March because Ramadan's on the 10th of, uh, 10th of March, mate. 
Ah, uh, because yeah. I would imagine they want this fight in in Riyadh season, won't they? So well, so I did. That means surely there's going to be a long delay, isn't it? I thought I heard. Of, well, obviously they're gonna. They, they the talk was that they wanted the Kotobi and Bivol was going to be in June or July. So I think they could still do events around uh, outside of Riyadh season. And I also saw a report that they would look to reschedule June, July, and maybe even later than that. It's, it's a bad cut, so who knows, really? Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, in in that case, you 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 really seek, you want to fight. So yeah. I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that Ergovic fight um, being made um, as long as Ergovic is is ready to step up to the plate. Um, so yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very interesting. Dave, thank you for taking time to speak to me. Really, really good to catch up with you. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, won't be having too many more gutting ones like this to catch up with, mate. Top man. Uh -huh. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Nice one. See you later.